I'm Ashton with Freedom Fitness Equipment. We are a dealer for new and used gym equipment. What that basically means is we're like a candy store for gym equipment. So we have a big superstore in Charlotte. You can come in, search for all this stuff. We're a dealer for about 10 or 20 different brands. And then we get all sorts of used gym equipment that changes all the time. So we get racks like this and cardio equipment like that and you know strength pieces that look like this. Um, and what I wanted to talk about today was how to buy used gym equipment that can save you literally thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, boy. Stuff like this that you know most people aren't gonna go for because it's not Rep Fitness or Rogue or Titan or whatever, um, but is much less expensive and is just as durable, if not more durable, than all the home gym stuff that you guys are usually buying. Here's my opinion on this, and I'm super biased because I'm a dealer, obviously. The used commercial grade is always gonna be uh, superior to any residential product, whether it's pieces like um, Nordic Track is my most infamous um, hate, like Soul, you know, Proform, those pieces, you know, the, the cheap stuff that you see at Dick's Sporting Goods and Academy Sports and Outdoors. All this commercial grade equipment will crush in terms of quality, any of that stuff, even if it is used and it's looked beat up and it is rusted. Um, but it's gonna be superior to any residential product any day. And you can off honestly buy stuff like this for pennies on the dollar. And the main reason is a lot of these have custom attachments, hole sizes that aren't necessarily standard. So you've got one inch or sorry, instead of one inch, like maybe 1.25 inch or like seven, seven eighths inch or something weird sizing like that. No, God, please, no, no. No! But if you've got enough of these attachments, it's not gonna matter, right? So, you know, racks or cardio is the thing where you've got um, the most bang for your buck. So cardio is where the steels can be had. You can honestly build your own home gym with cardio flips. It looks big, but this is a, this is a stepper. So basically think a Stairmaster, just a lot more compact and an elliptical at the same time. So you get on here, goes up and down like this and also forward and back like that. What I recommend when you're buying used commercial grade equipment is buy something that does more than one thing, but you can flip stuff like this that's sitting in somebody's basement for a hundred bucks and then resell it to another commercial gym owner for 1500. Are you serious? You made $1,400 and now you can buy all the gym equipment you'd ever want. Um, you can get really good basic setups for that. Wow. These treadmills, I mean, you know treadmills, they're gonna go for $200. They're gonna become clothes hangers in somebody's you know, basement or garage. They'll outlast anything on the market. You don't hardly have to replace anything on these except for like dry belts. This you can buy for, from somebody for a couple hundred bucks and then this is retails for $1,700. Um, and people will buy because your market, if you buy commercial grade, your market is home gyms, commercial gyms, training studios, everything under the sun. And you just keep flipping that stuff until you get what you want. So then you buy this, flip it to somebody else, buy a rack, flip it to somebody else, buy another piece of cardio, flip it to somebody else. You can basically make your entire home gym on cardio flips and then buy the strength equipment as you get enough money. There are life fitness treadmills that will retail for $10,000 that you can pick up for $500 and then resell for like double. But there, the depreciation on commercial cardio and commercial grade equipment is significant. A lot of the commercial brands, you're not gonna recognize the name. This is a company called Batka, B-A-T-C-A. So I didn't know who it was until about a year ago. Um, but this piece, these go in a lot of like hotel gyms and apartment complexes. And this is a bicep curl, shoulder press, low row combo. You wanna buy stuff like this that's still commercial grade because most home gyms are working with like a single car garage or a double car garage. And you're not gonna have room for something that only does one thing. Like those stupid bench press setups that you can only bench press in that are flat. Please don't buy those. Uh, you know, just a lap pull down, don't buy that. Buy a lap pull down low row or leg curl leg extension or, you know, um, like this piece that does shoulder press and decline press and all that stuff. Um, don't, buy, don't buy strength equipment if you're buying to flip or if you're buying for your home gym. Don't buy strength equipment that just does one thing unless you're looking to get rid of it and offload it like in another day or two. That seems wrong, but wait, there's more. All right, tip number four. The best deals are bought in bulk. If you can find a gym closing, or if you can find a home gym owner that's getting rid of a bunch of equipment, or if you can find a training studio that's like, I don't need this much stuff. 
please get it off my hands. CrossFit gyms are another one. They constantly open and they constantly close. The obvious, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, OfferUp's kind of garbage. There's tons of ways to do this. Um, there's an account called My Free Gym on Instagram and, and uh, TikTok, God forbid, uh, that has a lot of really good tips on how to buy this kind of stuff in bulk. And also set up searches on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Like you can get emailed tips on, you know, if you've got a word search for free weights or if you've got a word search for strength equipment, they'll email you and say, hey, this client, this, this person is selling a bunch of strength equipment. Oh, by the way, so this is a tip I have never told anybody on any social media platform. I have never told anybody this in person. If you use public surplus websites, websites like govdeals.com, publicsurplus.com, every state has their own surplus website and then public surplus and govdeals are national uh, surplus websites. It's basically government entities that have taken their gym and they're just liquidating it at auction. The prices will start at a dollar. You can buy stuff like this for like 10 bucks. What? If you're not outbid, you win it, you go pick it up, you got some paperwork and you're done is the best. So when we first started, that's what we did is we bought a bunch of equipment at auction and then we just resold it. Um, a lot of times you've gotta be careful about condition, right? So this can be rusted through or the cardio doesn't work. But if you have the opportunity to go to the auction site, test it out a little bit, or if it's semi-local, like ask them, you know, hey, does this work? Um, as long as they're not lying to you, you know, you're gonna get a good piece. Um, and don't be worried about a little bit of rust or oxidation because all this stuff is gonna have, people sweat on this stuff. So it's gonna have some, you know, like on here, you can kind of see in the cracks here, the crevices, you know, it's gonna have a little bit of nicks and dings and, and stuff like that, but it's used, you know, it's, it's, as long as it's still in good shape and functional, it doesn't make squeaky noises, it'll be fine. And then, like I said, you can still flip it or use it for your home gym. If you're looking for gym equipment that's gonna save you thousands of dollars, look for, most people are gonna, most people are gonna resell the crap out of Rogue and Rep Fitness and Titan. They know those brands. They know everything about those brands. They know the reselling value of those brands. Don't go for that. Go for all the commercial stuff, Precore, Matrix, Rogers Athletic, Williams Strength and Power, Life Fitness, the brands that nobody really knows much about unless they're a gym owner, but you can resell for buku bucks or make really good money on because people don't know what they are and they're just selling them for nothing. Star Trek, Legend, Arsenal, Hammer Strength is killer. If you find Hammer Strength plate loaded, oh my gosh, any, everybody will buy that. Um, Iron Grip, Panada is amazing. Flex Fitness. If you find a Flex Fitness piece, you've cut, stumbled upon a gold mine. That stuff is really well built. Bodybuilders kill for that. Kill for it. Um, Paramount, William Strength. William Strength is based in South Carolina. They're all awesome. Okay, so there's serial numbers on all of this equipment. So this is the serial number right here. They code the serial numbers and they can tell you the year that it was manufactured if you know that manufacturer's serial coding. So, like this one, I think, I think, yeah, this is built in 2011. So it's got, there's two numbers and then that's the year. So you can determine the age of the unit. If it's newer, obviously a better deal. And also they have, if you go into the programs, you can tell the mileage. So like a low mileage treadmill, you'd wanna go for that. A low mileage AMT, you'd wanna go for that. Um, but they can have, honestly, these can have thousands of miles on them. And if you're using a cardio piece in a commercial setting, not only did you get it for a steal, but it's gonna last forever. I mean, these are meant to be banged on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you're buying this and it has 10,000 miles on it and you use it for like one mile a week, it's gonna last for another 10 years. So don't be afraid of the mileage so much. Um, the year is le a little bit more important, but it's what's most important about this kind of equipment is the condition it's in, how it sounds and how it looks. Uh, cables and belts, just make sure when you're buying that they're not frayed or torn or ripped off like the nylon can wear on those. Just make sure you're inspecting those. Uh, the cables are easy to replace, you know. Um, sometimes they have belts, sometimes if you go really old school, chains which is the most smooth drive ever. But Nautilus is like the only manufacturer that used to make that. Uh, make sure there's no high pitch whining or squealing from like any of the cardio pieces, particularly treadmills, the motor can start to go. And you can get steels from not only commercial cardio, but stuff that doesn't look as pretty. So if you're handy with like a wire brush and spray paint, this is not a joke. People who refurbish equipment will actually use a can of Krylon and just cover up the rust. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to buff it off and then spray it over. But like, they're not powder coating stuff. They're just take, I literally, I saw some, another reseller sent me a photo and there's a refurbisher is just like, got a can of spray paint in his hand and just covering up all the, so. 
You can do it too. Do not buy back extensions or app machines. You will not be able to sell them, ever. You'll bring them down to $50 and then they might sell maybe in five years. So app machines and back extensions, terrible, terrible buys. If you absolutely want one, buy something cheap from Walmart or Amazon, something that is not commercial grade, just don't buy that. Resellers like myself will often sell, well, we'll go to a manufacturer like Bells of Steel or Frey Fitness or Rep Fitness and we'll say, hey, do you guys have any sort of blemish product, stuff that has scratches, dents, dings, like it doesn't look perfect and it came out of the factory. All those bumper plates are new, but they have cosmetic blemishes. They have like a ding in them or like it was printed wrong or you know it doesn't look as pretty and it's not perfect. They'll sell at a crazy discount from retail. Like they'll retail, those will retail for like two to $3 a pound. We have them for $1.60 or less a pound. So if you can find a reseller with that, you can also save a ton of money um, by buying scratch and dent stuff or blemish stuff. And again, if you're looking for that on the used market, somebody will discount it just because it doesn't look as pretty. I mean, this is how I started a business, um, is reselling, buying, selling, trading, that kind of thing. So um, you can do it for your home gym. Like I said, my free gym is a really good account to follow. Um, he built his whole home gym for free by investing a few hundred dollars in a, uh, in a piece of equipment and then just flipping it from there. But like I said, you can literally, if you flip two commercial grade pieces of cardio, you can build a gym just like that. So that's what I'd recommend if you're, if you're trying to save a lot of money um, and build your home gym for free. So thank you guys so much.